الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علیہ و صحبہ و سلم بعد So before we talked about Tawheed, when we talked about its three categories, and who remembers the three categories of Tawheed? Huh? Uh-huh, Tawheed al-Rububiyah. Tawheed al-Asma'i wa Sifat, Jameel. Uh-huh. And Tawheed al-Ibadah, or Tawheed al-Uluhiyah, Jameel. Tawheed al-Rububiyah, again, it means... That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Lord of all things. Rabbil Alameen. He's the Lord of everything. He created everything. He provides for everything. He's the sustainer. He is the one, the decreer of all of our affairs and everything. That is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's lordship. And everything returns to Allah. Allah created everything and everything will return to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And a question was asked to the major committee, the committee of major scholars here in Saudi Arabia, okay, related to the issue of Tawheed al rububiyah and Uluhiyah. They asked them, in the Kibar Ulama, they're in Riyadh, in the city of Riyadh. So they were asked, what is the meaning of Tawheed al rububiyah and Tawheed al Uluhiyah? So the answer was, the meaning of Tawheed al rububiyah the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's lordship, is the ascription of all acts to Allah, glorified and exalted be He, to none but Him alone, such as creation, bringing into being, providing sustenance, meaning the risk, giving life, and causing death. So who, who's the one who gives life and death? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jameel. That is Tawheed al-Rububiyah, the Lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is Tawheed al-Rububiyah. Then they answered, the meaning of Tawheed al-Uluhiyah, meaning the oneness uh, of worship. All of our worship goes to who? To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Tawheed al-Uluhiyah, the oneness of worship, is the dedication of all acts of Uh, of the servants or slaves to none but Allah alone, meaning all worship of all of our, the worship that we do goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, such as dua when we make supplication, uh, when we ask help, when we seek refuge. You know, when we say, A'udhu billah, we say, A'udhu billah, we don't say, A'udhu bi so and so. We don't see, I, say, I seek refuge in this person, or I seek refuge in the jinn, or I seek ref, refuge in the sorceress, or I seek refuge in, in the angels, or I seek refuge in the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. No, we seek refuge in who? Allah. We say, A'udhu Billah min shaitan rajim I seek refuge in Allah from the shaitan, the cursed shaitan. So that shows us that all worship goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we seek refuge in Allah. We fear our fear, uh, the fear that deals with worship is, is only to Allah. You know, we only fear that kind of fearfulness uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our hope, hope that our deeds will be accepted. We hope from Allah and we fear his punishment. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we tawakkul, we rely uh, upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All forms of ibadah, it goes to Allah. And then they said, may Allah grant us success. May peace and blessings be upon our Prophet, Prophet and his family and companions. So this was the answer of the uh, major scholars. They let us know the meaning of Tawheed al-Rububiyah and Tawheed al-Uluhiyah. Tawheed al-Rububiyah Rashad means what? No, Tawheed al-Rububiyah means? No, Tawheed al-Rububiyah means? What do we say? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. So, Allah is the Rabbil Alameen. Allah is the Rabb. He's our, our Rabb. Okay? He's the Rabbil Alameen. So that means Allah is the Lord of all things. That's what Rububiyah means. 
That has to do with Allah's lordship. What does rububiyah mean? It means what again? Uh, that's not what rububiyah means necessarily. Huh, what does it mean? It means the lordship of Allah. What does rububiyah mean? The lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Good. And then uluhiya rashad, what does that mean? That's what you were talking about, huh? Rububiya, tawheed the rububiya means? Excellent. All worship belongs to Allah. We pray to Allah. We tawakkal Allah. Uh, Allah. We put our trust in Allah. We rely upon Allah. We seek refuge in Allah. We uh, put our hope in our trust. And we fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment. So that is ibadah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِشَيْنَ Worship Allah, He commanded us. And when Allah commands us with an amr, with a commandment, that means it's an obligation. وَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِشَيْنَ And do not associate partners with Him. So that's what that means for Tawheed al-Uluhiyya. Another thing I want to mention, this is another, another fatwa I just want to read really quickly from the Kibar ulama when they spoke about the best way to call to Tawheed. Because if we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship, He's the Lord of all things, and all of our worship goes to Him, then that means when we do da'wah, we have to do da'wah calling to what? What should we call to? We should call to Allah. Exactly. When we make da'wah, we call people to worship Allah alone. So the question was, what is the best way to call people to Tawheed and warn them against shirk? Because Tawheed is the greatest thing and shirk is the... Tawheed is the greatest thing Allah commanded us with and shirk is the greatest or the most serious thing Allah warned us against which is associating partners with Allah in His worship or His divinity. So they answered, the best way of da'wah is, calling to, is call, calling to Islam is that stated by Allah the Exalted in the following verse Allah said, Ed'u ila sabili rabbika bil hikmati wal mawidati al hasan wa jadiluhum bil latihi ahsan Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says invite mankind to the way of your lord with wisdom and uh, wisdom meaning like the Quran and divine revelation and fair and good preaching and argue with them in a way that is better so that's how you should invite people to Islam and invite people back to Tawheed. Sometimes you invite people who are non-Muslim to Islam. That's one kind of da'wah. Another kind of da'wah, Rashad, is that we invite Muslims who are uh, who have went astray in their Tawheed, they don't understand Tawheed properly, we invite them back to the Sunnah. We invite them back to Tawheed to, so that they understand Tawheed al-Rububiyyah wa Tawheed al-Uluhiyyah. And what's the third one? Ascent. And Tawheed al asmai wa Sifat. So we have to invite other Muslims. Some Muslims, they don't know that. And they need to be called back. So Part of da'wah, da'wah can be to non-Muslims or it can be to Muslims even to go back to the straight path. And then the scholars, they, they mention, they also mention another verse. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قُلْ هَذِهِ سَبِيلِ أَدْعُوا لِلَّهِ عَلَى بَصِيرَةٍ أَنَا وَمَنَ اتَّبَعْنِي وَسُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ وَمَا أَنَا مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Say, O Muhammad, this is my way. I invite unto Allah, meaning the Prophet ﷺ told the people, he invited unto Allah, because he called the Quraysh. Who did he call the Quraysh to? To, to worship who? Allah. To worship Allah. Why? Because they were worshiping many gods. Did you know in the Kaaba, you've been to Mecca, right? You've been to the Kaaba? you seen it? Yeah. In the Kaaba, in that Kaaba that you saw, there used to be 360 statues in there that the people used to worship. They used to take them out and hold them in their hand. That was what they used to worship. Now all of them are gone. 
and all the worship goes to Allah and it goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah says this is my way I invite unto Allah uh, with sure knowledge I and whoever follows me they must follow. So if you want to follow the Prophet ﷺ, you have to invite to Allah. You have to call the people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And glorified and exalted be Allah. And I am not a, one of the mushriks, or those people who worship other than Allah, the polytheists. So this is how they answered, the, the major scholars, they answered with this answer, that this is the best way to call to Allah. By what those two verses uh, illustrate for us. That we call to Tawheed, we call to the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that He's the only one worthy of worship, that He is divine names and attribute, that He is the Lord of all things. And we do it with beautiful preaching and wisdom, with knowledge, with ilm. And we do it in a, in a good way, in a good manner. And that we should have basira, and we should invite our da'wah should not be to your friends, your group, your uh, culture. Your da'wah should be to Allah. When you call people to Islam, you call them to Allah and to Islam purely. Not to yourself, not to your friends, not to your gang, not to this, but only to Allah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.